Hello students, welcome to lesson two, conversation. This exercise begins a four-part story in this unit about Albert's birthday party. So there's going to be four stories in this unit that come from this conversation about Albert's birthday party. You can see also exercise three, six, and seven. It introduces reporting request. So just listen to the conversation now and then practice saying it. Daniel and Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Oh, Daniel, I was going to call you tonight. What's up? It's Albert's birthday on Saturday, and I'm planning a surprise party for him. Sounds like fun. The idea is this. I've asked Albert to go to a movie with me at 6. After the movie, we go back to his apartment to have dinner. So be at Albert's by 7.30 to wait for us and surprise him. His roommate will let you in. Okay, great. Uh, can you bring some soda? Oh, and don't say anything to Albert. No problem. Okay, so there's the conversation. Daniel and Amanda are talking about a surprise birthday party for Albert. So what are they going to do? Uh, uh, Albert and Amanda are going to a movie, and then they're going back to his apartment, and many of his friends will be there for a surprise birthday party. And uh, Albert's roommate will open the door and let them in. And in the end, she says, oh, can you bring some soda? Soda is speciet. It's Coca-Cola or orange or Fanta or Sprite or something like that. It's speciet. Some people call it soda. Soda. Some people call it pop. Some people call it soft drinks. All right. And so I don't think there's any words here that you need to understand. And so I would just encourage you, practice this conversation. Remember, the more you speak, the better you're going to speak English. And so maybe listen to me say it one more time and then try to say it just like me. Send me your voice message. Intonation, pronunciation, pause, and stress. Hi, Amanda. Oh, Daniel, I was going to call you tonight. What's up? Well, it's Albert's birthday on Saturday, and I'm planning a surprise party for him. Sounds like fun. The idea is this. I've asked Albert to go to a movie with me at 6. After the movie, we go back to his apartment to have dinner. So be at his at Albert's by 7.30 to wait for us and surprise him. His roommate will let you in. Okay, great. Uh, can you bring some soda? Oh, and don't say anything to Albert. No problem. Pay attention to the pause. The period at the end of the sentence reminds us to stop talking for a moment. And the comma reminds us to stop talking for a moment. And of course, the question mark. Our voice goes up and we stop talking for a moment before we begin the next sentence. So pay attention to the pause on this and the intonation and record your voice and let me hear you speak English just like me. See you in the next lesson.